Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are my list of top 5 must have productive apps on your Android device. So guys, the first app is Touchpal. So this is a keyboard application and let me just give you a quick demonstration. This is how the keyboard looks. Like any other keyboard app, we have the swipe gestures. And apart from that, we have voice to text conversion. Hello, how are you? So besides that, this app has some nice gestures. Like if I want to delete the previous word, I can simply swipe from the back button like this. And I can delete the last word. And if I want to insert numbers, I don't need to long press the characters. I can simply swipe the characters up to insert the numbers. For example, if I want to insert 7, I can simply swipe U up. Same thing for 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And at the same time, if you want to insert at the rate, I don't need to long press the Z button. I can simply swipe it down. There you have it. And if I want to navigate in the text, we have inbuilt navigation buttons. So I can go left and right and I can go all the way to the start by pressing home and go back to the end by pressing end. I can select all and do a copy or a cut and even paste. This keyboard app also comes with inbuilt clipboard manager. So these are all my clips. So this is the clip that I've just copied. I can simply swipe it to delete it. And we also have an undo button. If I click this button, it will simply paste the text. If I press and hold it, it gives me additional option. So this is the content and I can give it a shortcut. So let's say Q W E R T Y. Let me just delete all this stuff. Now I can insert that text by pressing QWERTY. So once I inserted QWERTY, I can go with QWERTY or my phrase. This app saves a lot of time for you if you know how to use it. So guys, the next app is App Dialer and this is how it looks. So guys, if you have like 100 or 150 apps and if you and if you are lazy like me to go through the entire app drawer to search for one particular app, you can use App Drawer. Let's say I want to open Play Store, I can simply search for PLA and there we have it, a shortcut for Play Store. In the same way, if I want to open MX Player, I need to press MX and there I have it. So once again, it saves a lot of time. The next app is Cam Scanner, which is a document scanner. So every time you want to take a picture of some text, this is the app that you should use. So let me just take a picture quickly. So this is the MI Redmi Note 3's box. So I've taken the picture. Now from the picture, it will select the area where the text is. And when I press this button, it will crop the image and enhance the text. So instead of using a normal camera app, I would definitely suggest you to use this to take pictures of any text. So guys, the next app in our list is Push Bullet. So using this particular app, we can mirror notifications from our Android device to our web browser or our computer. We can also send links, images and files to our friends. This is not a chat application, but we can also chat on this app. So. Apart from that, we can also mirror our messages. So we can check out all the messages in our device right from the browser and we can even reply to them. So a very nice app, do give it a try. The next app in our list is Brave. It is earlier called as Link Bubble. So let me just open up Google now. So this is my Google now and it gives me some useful information. Normally when I click a link, it will take me to a browser. But now you can see that whenever I click a link, there is this bubble floating on the left side of the screen and I can open any number of links and all those links will be opened in this link bubble or Brave. So it's a floating browser which looks like a chat head. So I can access all these web pages very easily. So each bubble represents a tab 
and I can access all these web pages on any screen. So once I'm done with any particular tab, I can simply hold it and throw it down to close the tab. I can either share it or else we have a default action for pocket or we can have a default action like push bullet. And if I want to close all these tabs or all these bubbles, I can simply press and hold it, go to the bottom of the screen and just hold it like that and then I'll get option to close all. And now all the links are closed. So guys, these have saved a lot of time on your Android device. So there you have it guys, these are my list of top 5 productive apps. If you have any more suggestions, do let me know by commenting below this video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.